A bacteria that causes pneumonia and meningitis can be a death sentence for seniors. And its worst forms, pneumococcal disease kills one in every four to five people over the age of 65 who get it. Kegsay and Steffi Lee looks at a group pushing for Texas to do more to prevent infections and deaths. People can die from this illness. Nurse Mary Pat Smith wants to draw attention to the bacteria Streptococcus pneumoniae with a new state law. She's a member of the Texas Silver Haired Legislature, which is calling on the Department of State Health Services to form a prevention and treatment plan. One of our members was very seriously affected by this Streptococcus pneumoniae that caused pneumococcal pneumonia and she was in the hospital for a while. It commonly affects kids, too. We see it uh, often here. Um, we see it usually as pneumonia. At Dell Children's Medical Center, kids are diagnosed after an x-ray. So that's easily treated. That's antibiotics, usually for about a 10-day course or a 14-day course, and then medicine to control the fever. For all ages, these experts say prevention starts with access to vaccinations. It's a public education program to make people aware of the issue. And we see a lot less than we did, say, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, because there's now routine vaccinations against pneumococcus. From her experience as a nurse, Mary Pat has other prevention tips, too. Cough into your elbow if you have a cough. You know, put the germs there, not on your hand, and hand washing. Wash your hands often. Steffi Lee, KXAN News. And looking back at the last 10 years, Texas usually has between 1,500 and 2,000 confirmed cases of streptococcal pneumoniae disease each year. There are two different vaccines available. Most private insurance companies cover them at low to no cost. But for people without insurance, we checked and Walgreens charges $125 for one and $229 for the other.